Hi guys, it's Miss Sapika. Um, okay, I'm here with our book for Friday, May 29th. Um, this book, I'm going back to our Little Spot series. I really liked that. If you've been watching my videos, I did a whole week of those ones. Um, this one's called The Little Spot Stays Home. It's a new book that talks about why it is that we are all staying at home, even though hopefully we won't have to do it for too much longer. Um, I actually also chose to read this book today because if you watched my question of the day video already, you may know that Sunday is my birthday, um, which is exciting, but also kind of sad for all of you guys who have had your birthdays while we've been staying at home. You know that it's not kind of this, kind of not the same, right? Um, so just to kind of remind myself why it's important for us to stay home and um, keep healthy and all that kind of stuff, I thought this would be a good book for today. So here we go with A Little Spot Stays Home. A Little Spot Stays Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing. Sounds familiar, huh? This says, to all the essential workers who are keeping us safe. Hi, I'm a little safety spot. I'm here to help you stay safe when a virus starts spreading too fast and gets a lot of people very sick. What's a virus? Viruses are tiny particles that can make you ill. They are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. These particles are also known as germs. These germs love to stick to your hands, doorknobs, cardboard boxes, and toys. This is why we disinfect surfaces like countertops and objects. A virus can move from an object, like a doorknob, to your hand. Once it's on your hand, it can enter your body when you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth to make you sick. That's why it's so important to wash your hands to clean off germs before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and after you're done playing. And it also says use soap. Wash your hands really well for at least 20 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song twice. When a virus enters your body, you can start to have symptoms. Symptoms don't make you feel very good. They can be a fever, a cough, and a sore throat. People can spread a virus more when they have symptoms because germs come out of their nose and mouth when they cough or sneeze. If you become sick, you should stay at home or go to the doctor, which can help prevent others from getting ill. If you are having symptoms, wear a mask. Oh, sorry, wearing a mask is a great way to prevent the virus from spreading. This also shows you are being kind by not wanting to spread germs to others. If you are healthy, wearing a mask can protect you if you are around someone who is coughing and sneezing. When someone is sick and sneezes, germs can spread from their nose or mouth up to six feet. So for everyone, a safe distance is six feet, the length of your bed. If you don't have a tissue, you should always cough and sneeze into your upper sleeve or inner elbow. Some viruses can be very contagious and cause an outbreak. When this happens, older adults like grandmas and grandpas, as well as people with low or compromised immune systems, can get sick very easily, and it can be very harmful. We need to be responsible and help, pr help protect them. We can do this by hand washing and limiting contact with others by keeping a safe distance. During an outbreak, if safe distancing doesn't slow down the virus fast enough, everyone will need to stay home. This means no parties or seeing friends or extended family. Schools may also be closed for a while too. This is called a stay at home order. We know all about this guys, don't we? We're living it right now. When everyone stays home, doctors have time to find out more about the virus and prepare for patients. It also helps them find a treatment that can help before the virus hurts a lot of people. When we need to stay at home, can we leave our house at all? Great question. You can go for a walk with your immediate family as long as you are at a safe distance from others. 
People can also leave their homes if it is absolutely necessary, like to get food, go to the doctor, or if their job is considered essential. What are essential workers? Essential workers need to be at work to help keep us safe. They help treat sick people and deliver and stock important items. These people are doctors, nurses, police officers, grocery store workers, and delivery workers, just to name a few. We should be very thankful for these people who have the courage to go to work every day. Staying at home will require a lot of patience and support for each other too. It can also be a great time to spread kindness by thanking all the people who help keep us safe. There may be times you will feel sad that you can't see friends and family, but there are other ways to connect with them. You can video chat or call them on the telephone. Or you can write a letter and send it through the mail. You can even decorate the envelope or include some artwork too. This time can be difficult for a lot of us and getting a letter in the mail can brighten someone's day. Since school buildings may be closed, you will have to learn as much as you can at home, and that can be fun too. You can learn math by measuring ingredients while baking, or by sorting clothes, counting shirts, and matching socks too. You can learn a new skill, or spend time with your immediate family. It can inspire you to be creative, or encourage you to get organized and tackle new projects. Hopefully I was able to help you understand more about viruses and why people need to keep a safe distance and stay at home. It's important to keep a positive outlook and remember that viruses don't last forever. If we work together, things will get better. The end. All right, so that was a little spot stays home. I hope you guys liked it. Um, something to think about or talk about. What is your favorite part about staying at home? So I'm sure there's a lot of things that we don't like about staying at home, but there are some great things about staying at home too. So that's something for you to think about and talk about with your family. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will try and do the same celebrating my birthday, getting another year older, and I will see you guys on Monday, which will also be June. Can't believe it. Can't believe we've made it to June. All right. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye.